Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Nicole. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what I'm bringing on our seven night Mexican Riviera cruise on Carnival Panorama. First, I think I'll start with the more cruise specific things that I have in my suitcases and then I'll come back and I'll do the clothes. All right, first things first, this is a 20 inch Cool Life piece of luggage in the color purple, it's hard sided. This is brand new, I've never used it, so I can't really give you a review on it, but I will once I've used it and I'll let you know. But it seems like it's pretty good quality. It had great reviews on Amazon. This is where we have all of our items that everybody's going to be using. So let me open it up and show you what's inside. All right, so on this side of the suitcase, we have a money belt. In it is a decoy wallet. Now this is something Adam would use. He would put this in his pocket. And should we find ourselves in a situation where somebody's trying to mug him, he would give them this. It has an old ID in it, some empty gift cards, and he'd probably throw a couple dollars in there. They would think that they're getting his wallet, but in fact, all of his money and important documents would be in this money belt under his shirt. So, just something nice to have, obviously, not a necessity. And then I've got a pop-up laundry basket that we can put our dirty clothes in while we're there. I've got three different beach towels slash blankets. They're pretty large and they're very absorbent, but they're thin and lightweight. So these will be what we're bringing with us when we go to the beach. Each person has their own color that kind of correlates with their packing cubes. So for example, I have purple packing cubes, Aiden's are blue, Adam's are green. You get the idea. And I'm also bringing this mesh beach bag. I really like this because since it is mesh, all the sand falls out the bottom and you don't have to worry about bringing sand back to the room with you in your bag. And it folds up nice and conveniently. And then this is something new I'm trying. This is actually a blackout curtain. I do have some hooks that I'm gonna use and attach to the ceiling. I'm gonna try and give us a little more privacy in between our bed and Aiden's bed. I mean, he is a teenager after all. It would just be nice, especially for like changing and whatnot throughout the day. This side has a zipper flap that I will open and I'll show you. Now these are all of our travel on pouches with things that we're all gonna be using. I've kind of divided them up into categories, if you will. So like this one, I would call our stateroom essentials. It's got some um, antibacterial wipes, some magnetic hooks, command strips, hand sanitizer, an alarm clock, got some thank you cards in there, a highlighter, some sticky notes, and a pen. This one is for all of our medications and first aid type things with some emergency. Got all of our medications and a pill organizer. Got some Pepto. Got some um, moleskins in here just in case. Just all kinds of things. This is if we need to do laundry on the ship. I've got some detergent. I've got some wrinkle release spray, a little sewing kit, Tide pin up here. On this side, I've got some Febreze and um, some sink suds that are tied. If we want to do it in the sink. This one is for taking with us on excursions. We've got some bug repellent, some ponchos, more antibacterial wipes. We've got some tissue and a battery operated fan that hangs around your neck. Keep it cool. We've got the all important masks that we have to take nowadays. Here we've just got some snacks because it's kind of nice to have a taste of home. We'll all share those. And then Ab and I have our vitamins all organized and divided. This is what we will put in the beach bag. We've got some chair clips to clip our towel to the chair. In here, we've got some pouches to put our cell phones in to keep them from getting wet. Some uh, sunscreen and some aloe in case we do get burnt. And then some lens wipes. We've got one of those sunscreen sticks. And then here, you can't see it. Here, I'll wrap it up and show you. It's just some straps to strap our glasses around our heads because we all three wear glasses and we don't want to lose our glasses while we're on vacation. Could be a bad time. I'm bringing a sponge and some dish soap because I will be bringing a reusable drinking glass, cup, whatever you want to call it. And I want to be able to wash it while we're there with some actual dish soap, not like 
handsome. And then last but not least, the seasickness pouch. I've got some, here I'll show you. These are called Gingins. They're ginger like candies that are supposed to help settle your stomach. Got some Dramamine, some C bands to wear around your wrist. I've also got some patches here. I've got a variety of things added. Adam needed the Gingins and a C band last time. And then he was good after about an hour. But Aiden's never been on a cruise, so we don't know how he'll do. But we're set if he needs something. That's it for this suitcase. All right, on to the clothes that I have in the packing cubes. This is the 28 inch piece of that three luggage set that I showed you earlier. So in here, in my purple e-bags packing cube, I have some tank tops. I like to wear them under my dresses. I've got some of my toiletries in a clear plastic bag. Even though we are driving, never can be too safe. I like to put this type of stuff anyway in one of these types of pouches. Plus, I can always use it with TSA if we do fly in the future. I am going to be bringing some jewelry, which is in here. It's just an organizer I got from Amazon. I don't know if I'm going to actually end up wearing any of it, but at least I'll have it if I want it. This is a bag for putting wet clothes in. If we need to put our swim stuff in a bag like the day before we go, it's still damp we can put it in here and it won't get anything else in our suitcase wet I've got some shorts bicycle type style shorts that I can wear under my dresses as well because chub rub is a thing this is my e-bags packet flat toiletry bag I'll just show you real quick what I've got in here I've got some Q-tips and some fashion tape, my hairbrush, a sleep mask with some earplugs, some deodorant, a razor, some makeup remover wipes, and an extra headband. And this zipper pouch here, I've got my toothbrush and toothpaste, and I've got some extra feminine hygiene type items in here. I've got some moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's my favorite. I'm also going to be putting in my Clarisonic, my face exfoliator, and then one of these bun type situations. I don't know what they're called, um, but it's for putting your hair up in a bun if I decide to do that. I like to do that when I go swimming. Then in here I have all of my undergarments, including a couple pairs of Spanx. So Socks, underwear, bras, and then the Spanx. And here I've got all of my pajamas. So I've got nine pairs of these satin short and cami combo sleep sets. They are amazing. I will link them below. I highly recommend them. And I am bringing my black robe too. It's also satin. And then the last packing cube, I have all of my swimwear and swim cover-ups. And this half of the suitcase, I've got my shoes and hats these are what I'm currently thinking about bringing I don't have any um, shoe bags I guess is what you call them so I'm thinking I might use one of these larger packing cubes that I have I have let's see, some water shoes that are just kind of you know for when I'm in the rocky water some flip-flops I really don't care about grungy ones for walking around the sand I've got these wedges that I'm gonna wear for formal nights a pair of black sandals and a pair of, I guess you could call them cream or beige, off-white, ivory, <laughs> you get the idea, sandals. And then a couple hats, just kind of a tan one and a white one. I've never worn this one, so I'm excited to wear it with a few outfits, but I got to figure out a way to get the wrinkles out. Once we get there, I think I could probably steam it and that would work. Something else that I like to use are these luggage tag holders. It's clear plastic with kind of a zipper uh, closure and then a metal ring because what they give you, and this is just an old one from a previous cruise, is this paper luggage tag, which you're supposed to like loop around the handle of your piece of luggage and then staple. 
But if this gets torn off accidentally, you're kind of SOL because then they don't know who it belongs to and where it's supposed to go. So with this, it keeps it protected. You don't have to worry about that. It just gives me a little more peace of mind. You just slide it on in like that, close it, and then you attach this to your piece of luggage. And of course, you don't want to forget your all important passports or IDs rather. And because we are going on a cruise, we need to bring our vaccination cards. We also have in this folder, I'm not going to show you, but we have all of our boarding documents and um, our receipts for excursions, any of that type of paperwork we're going to bring in this folder here and then we will put them in Adam's backpack. We're also bringing a bottle of champagne and we're using this thing called a jet bag. It is cushioned and it's also meant to absorb any spills should your bottle break, but we are hoping we don't have that problem. But uh, Carnival lets you carry on one 750 milliliter bottle per adult. So we're just gonna bring one though. Here I've just got my camera case and in there I've got an extra battery and some headphones if I decide I want to do some editing while we're there, but I probably won't. And then this organizer by Becksmart, we have all of our chargers and cords and whatnot. Here we've got a five port USB power port <laughs> by Anchor, um, some wall adapters. We've got two watch chargers for our smartwatches there. And then we've got some anchor external battery chargers two of them so we should be good we should not run out of power and then we've got our charging cords over on that side and then we have this case here it holds what we call our faux pro it's not an actual gopro um but it's by the brand let's see if we can get this to focus akaso akaso i don't know but it's a 4k like um performance kind of camera I guess you could say it's like a GoPro but just a knockoff version and then we have um, some extra batteries and some attachments this little floaty bob here so if you want to take it in water you can and it won't sink I'm gonna start with the formal dresses that I plan on wearing on the formal nights on the cruise the first one is a blue midi dress by Eloquy. It's long sleeves. It's got this knot detail in the front. The second formal dress is another one by Eloquy. It is long sleeved. And check out the cuffs. I, I love that. It's kind of like a old fashioned style sleeve or cuff rather, but I really like it. And then it's a maxi length with a slit towards the bottom. There's supposed to be a white party on the ship at some point, so I'm bringing this white dress. I think what I'll do is I'll save it and wear it on that night during the white party, and then if I don't get anything on it, because I'm notorious for dripping food down the front of me, if I don't get anything on it, then I'll wear it the next day. Next dress is another Eloquy dress. This is an off-the-shoulder dress. It is kind of like a mid-calf length. It used to have kind of a ruffled uh, sleeve, but I had that changed at the tailors. This dress I wore last time we were on a cruise, but I thought it was very uh, fitting, the colors wise anyway, for a Mexican Riviera cruise. This is a striped dress by Tara and Sky from Walmart. It is fairly long. It's got pockets. I'm very excited about the pockets. Most dresses don't have pockets nowadays, unfortunately. Here's another dress by Eloquy. This is a shirt dress with, I'd say, three quarter sleeves. Midi dress. And then here I've got two of the same dress, but in different colors. Both obviously from Torrid, it's the same dress. This color, um, I think they called this color Spice. This one is like a dark kind of hunter green. They are both out of stock right now, unfortunately, I believe. 
last time I checked because I went to go write a review and I couldn't find them anywhere to write the review. Bummer, right? And then I just have, again, two of the same dress. These are both uh, Tara and Sky from Walmart. And I'm gonna wear one down and then one on the, on the day back. All right, there you have it. Everything I am bringing with me on the cruise. I am so excited. It has been a year and a half in the making. We were originally supposed to go March 2020, but as I'm sure you know, that didn't happen. So until next time, bye.